As you know, metal theft has become a major problem for Georgia farmers over the past few years and is a priority issue now for Georgia Farm Bureau. While damage to irrigation pivots in the south has received most of the headlines, it's become just as big a problem for poultry producers in the northern part of the state. Monitor's Damon Jones takes a look at one farmer who's decided to speak out. Whether it's stripping air conditioning units, telephone lines, or even stealing sewer covers, copper wire theft has severely impacted a number of different industries across Georgia. However, none have been more affected than farming. And it's not just crop producers that are feeling the stress. Well, for right now, we're having such uh, major farm theft at our poultry houses where we, we're getting uh, copper wiring and anything else of value of uh, metal stripped out of our houses. And this is happening in between uh, grow outs of flocks, which we're out of chickens about three weeks. And during this period of time is when the uh, thieves come in and, and strip our houses out and do the damage to the, to the property. During that time, the houses are usually empty, while power is also cut off to prevent any type of fire hazards. It's just the kind of opportunity thieves are looking for. The thieves come in when they see that we're out of birds. They'll come into the houses, uh, close the doors, go inside, probably with flashlights and two or three people. Uh, they'll take and tie a winch or something to the uh, strands of wire and they'll just jerk it down, pulling down motors or whatever comes with it. And usually we estimate taking maybe 15 minutes, they can take the entire wiring uh, out of the houses in 15 minutes and be gone. And while it is expensive to replace the stolen wire, that's not the major loss for farmers as repair costs and lost production are the bigger problems. Uh, in one house, we've got 12 houses on our farm. In one poultry house, uh, that's approximately, it takes around $15,000 to replace what's stolen. But there's more to it than that. We're down about two extra weeks between flocks having to get repairs done. Uh, also, the poultry companies have to book baby chicks back uh, with us, and that usually delays their bookings about two weeks. So we're down approximately two to four weeks because of uh, something like this happening to our farm. And that's just one reason Moon recently spoke in front of a legislative committee in Atlanta. It also gave him a chance to show them that it's just as big a problem for farmers in North Georgia. Well, we live in the uh, three-county area here in Madison County. Uh, we live in the largest uh, poultry-going region in the United States. Uh, we've, uh, uh, you can't get out of sight of a poultry house in this region, so it's quite tough. Uh, statistics I, I gathered uh, from a law enforcement agency. Uh, in 2011, there was 85 farms uh, hit uh, just with the uh, wire thefts in, uh, in a three-county area. It's such a major problem in our area. We estimated in our county, three county area, that at least a million and a half dollars last year of damage was done just in the farm sector. However, good news could be on the way as the Georgia Senate is expected to vote on a bill that would place more requirements on recyclers to document scrap metal received, which would create a paper trail for law enforcement. The step Moon says would be one in the right direction. Uh, our law enforcement agencies are doing a, uh, the best job they can in investigating but without a stiffer law and penalty, they can't track it down because right now uh, there's no numbers, no identification on the wire or metal or anything. Uh, so there's no way of tracking it and finding out who's doing it. They can get caught with it. But to prove that they did it is almost impossible. So there's no way to give them punishment for, what they, for the action they did. Without catching them red-handed in our houses, uh, they're very seldomly uh, finding out who's doing it. Well, the Georgia Farm Monitor... I'm Damon Jones.